Hi guys, for today's video, we'll be introducing you the statistical treatment. Statistical treatment is a section that indicates how the data will be analyzed and reported. It should specify the qualitative and or quantitative methods that will be used in analyzing the data gathered for the research. For each problem in statement of the problem, indicate an appropriate statistical tool and relate how it can give accurate results. So for this instance, it is suggested here that if ever you have three research problems, then it is also necessary for you to give three research instrument tool or statistical tool that you need to use in order to interpret and analyze your data. Again, if you have, for example, three research problems on your, on your statement of the problem, and it is also suggested that you need also to put three statistical tools to answer that particular problems. So analysis of data, here are just the baseline information or general idea on how to solve these particular problems. At the same time, what tool to be used. For example, if you're looking for the profile of your respondents, usually it is, need, uh, it is good to use your frequency and percentage. For descriptive research about the level of awareness, the level of agreement, or the different practices on solid waste management, whether they practice it um, usually, never, or always, then it will be necessary for us to use mean or statistical deviation, especially when you are using a Likert scale. Then mean will be the most appropriate tool to use for that particular research. Descriptive research. Next, for comparative research or comparative study, telling us the significant difference between two groups, then t-tests could be used, analysis of variance or ANOVA, or comparing means. For correlational study, wherein we need we check for relationship or association, connection between two variables or two concepts, then Pearson R. Kendall or Spearman Raw would also be used. So, for example, here in preparedness level of pre baccalaureate maritime students towards search or education, the physical treatment in the paragraph form is this. The data gathered on the level of preparedness of grade 12 pre baccalaureate maritime students towards tertiary education are subjected to certain process statistics using the physical tools such as frequency, percentage, and mean. For statement number one, the researchers use frequency and percentage in analyzing the profile of the respondents. That's for SOP1, and the first tool to be used is frequency and percentage. For statement number two, the researchers use mean in evaluating the level of preparedness of grade 12 per baccalaureate maritime students. So in this case, in their, set, in their descriptive research question, the tool that they suggested to be used is the mean, since they will be also using a Likert scale. That's it for statistical treatment. I hope you learned something and you must apply it in your research proposal. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye and have a great day.